just want to say thank you guys so much for sticking with me. I know things have been crazy. I haven't had a whole lot of movement on my channel as of late, but that should change. All in all, the shit has hit the fan when it comes to work and life and moving and pandemic and this, that, and the other thing and blah, blah, blah. So, without further ado, I give you guys a DIY project for your fight stick. Now, this project allows you to add an anti-slip bottom to your arcade stick if it doesn't already have one. Now, this is a super temporary measure because we are using a hot glue gun. This allows you that in case you're like, eh, I don't know if I wanna hold on to my fight stick and I wanna sell it later, this allows you to carefully peel off the hot glue without actually damaging your stick. Let's take a look. This is a hot glue gun and clear pixie sticks. Eat them, I dare you. And here we have an X-Acto knife, ready to cut a bitch. What do you mean it's not YouTube friendly? Oh, kick rocks. Foam pads I got at Wally World. And yes, fair warning, you may need to punch somebody in the throat. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver. You know, the one with the X. Nobody calls it a cross. Get the hell out of here. Pinchy clamps that some of you I think call pliers and a permanent marker. All right, let's start with showing you how to do this thing. So you're gonna take your arcade stick, flip that bitch over. You're gonna put it on a pillow, maybe some foam pads that maybe came with the stick. That way you're not trying to wrestle around with an arcade stick that you're pushing against the joystick the entire time. It's all tilted and cattywampus. It just makes your life a lot harder. Now, I already unscrewed the bottom of this stick. There's only a couple screws left. Now, fair warning, there is a sticker, or at least was a sticker on the bottom of my case. When it comes to opening most arcade sticks, you will be voiding the warranty on that stick. So it really isn't that big of a deal because if you're watching this video, you're probably wanting to mod the stick anyway. But I figure I'd give you that warning ahead of time. So take that damn pickle out of your mouth before you start this. Now, most arcade sticks will have a removable bottom panel. What we're working with today is a Hori Wrap N Soul Calibur Edition. This one where the bottom panel will completely come off. There are some arcade sticks where the bottom panel doesn't come off at all, but more than likely if you're working with one of those sticks, it already has an anti-slip pad already attached. Now, the Hori Wrap In comes with these cute little anti-slip pads for when you're doing tabletop play or desk play, but they don't do a damn thing if it's on your lap. So take those cute little bitches off for right now. Yeah you will need your pliers to hold the nut on the other side and use your screwdriver at the same time. While I was filming this video, I completely forgot to clean the underside of this metal panel before I started this mod. So for you guys doing this, I would highly recommend take some rubbing alcohol and wipe clean the entire metal panel so that way the hot glue adheres to a nice clean surface. Grab your foam pads next and sit that down onto your surface. From here, take your metal plate. Make sure the inside of the plate is facing up and the bottom of the plate is facing down. Now we are gonna trace around the metal plate. It does not have to be exact. We just need to know exactly where our hot glue is going to go. Now spread that hot glue all over that foam pad. And from here, gently place that metal plate on top of the hot glue at the halfway point. Don't dilly dally because that glue dries fast. And my highest recommendation is don't place the hot glue on the cold metal because it will dry that much faster. Put it on the foam first. Now you're gonna take those exact same steps and do the whole thing over for the other side. Oh, that got me dizzy. Get your X-Acto knife and get a cutting surface. And make sure it's a cutting surface that you don't want anymore because that X-Acto knife is gonna go through that foam and it's gonna start scratching the hell out of that bottom surface. So please don't do it on something nice. I see it now. Hate mail for accidentally slicing through some anime boobies that happen to be on the table. 
Now, use your X-Acto knife and follow very closely around your metal panel. And from here, be very, 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 very careful. It's a sharp frickin' blade. I don't wanna hear about anybody slicing their damn finger from this mod. So, be careful. After you are done cutting the foam pad, it should look nice and pretty. From here, you will probably need to take your hot glue again and go around the edges so that way it doesn't start peeling up on you. The foam pad is very easy to poke through, so let's start reinstalling those little cute little anti-slip pads for your case. The next step can be kind of tricky, so what I would recommend is take your screws for the bottom of that plate and before you start to reinstall the bottom plate onto the arcade stick, poke it through to, from one side to the other. So that way you have a general idea of where those screws are gonna go before you put the plate on. Because you're gonna put that plate on, you're gonna be like, I don't remember where the holes are. Now that's how you do it. Now just flip that guy back over and go kick somebody in the face. Hopefully this helps you guys with an anti-slip option for your arcade stick if it already did not have one. If you want more of a permanent solution, what I would recommend instead of hot glue is get some sort of spray adhesive. It is definitely a lot more of a permanent solution when it comes to keeping that pad on the bottom of your case. And if you don't wanna use foam, you can use things like a mouse pad or felt. There's a bunch of different ways to do it. If you found this video at least somewhat minutely helpful and you think my channel could help others, share my content. I would love that. Come and check out some of my other videos and slap me a Fonz because it definitely helps with the YouTube algorithms that are here. Thank you guys again for watching. Love ya.